Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and today I have a um, fun card for you for Make It Monday. And today's card, I'm using a brand new cartridge for me, and it's called the Wild Card 2. And I just love all the cuts in here, so I'm probably eventually going to make them all. I think that's going to be one of my goals, just to see how they all cut. Um, the card that I'm going to be doing today is this fun and cute owl card. I just, I just love him. I think he is so cute. And he is, let's see what I cut him at. I cut my card at four and a half. And I cut all the layers. And the paper that I'm using today is one of the papers that I got really cheap at Marshall's. This is $2.99 for the Lime Twist Fly a Kite. Super cute. I'm actually going to be using this paper and also, I don't see it on here, but I'm using um, this, like, chevron orange. I'm going to be using the chevron orange. Okay? So it's kind of four and a half. And here is my card base. So when you cut this card, um, it's a shape card. So it cuts everything for you. This is cut in craft so that I can have a brown branch. I can have a brown branch. Okay. And I'm going to put this card together with you guys. You guys are going to put it together with me. And so I cut my base owl in this bashful blue cardstock. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down. This cut really, really nicely. I kind of, there's there are a few things that I like to do with my cards that I kind of had to play with, and I'll show you guys what I mean when we get to that part. So you lay this down, and then I have that, and then this is going to go on top. Okay, so we can get this fun orange beak. I thought that orange would be kind of fun. I want to use the papers from this stack. So I'm going to go ahead. I know this is upside down. And there's that. And then we have our espresso cut. And this just goes right on top. And I just love this um, cartridge. It has all kinds of fun shaped cards on here, so it takes the guessing out of it. It also has some really fun sentiments, so I can see how this would be um, some really fun cuts that you could use for a scrapbooking page. Okay, so there's that, and then I have my eyes. Let me make sure I'm getting the right, yeah, that eyeball goes there. And I cut my eyes in white. And you have endless possibilities because, of course, you can cut these in any color. You can change the shapes. You can just cut the owl. Like, so if you just wanted the owl, you could just cut him if you wanted. And um, not cut the card part. I wanted to cut the card part today. Okay, so there's that. And then he has a belly. And his belly uh, matches his nose. So let me get that on there so that you guys can see. So let me match that up. A little bit of glue there. Okay. So there he is. So far, so cute. And I like to have a plain white sentiment in here, a plain white piece, so that I can stamp a sentiment or write something down. So what I did was I cut this blue head piece. I cut it again in white. 
and I use my gypsy to hide all of the little lines because the lines tell you where you're supposed to place all the different layers. So I hit all the lines and I stamped it with my dusty Durango ink pad. And I used You're Such a Hoot. And this is by Pink by Design and it's called Your Hoot. Very, very cute. Nothing but owl stuff in here. And there's so many owl things right now, owl cartridges, owl stamps, that um, it's kind of fun to have some additional sentiments to go with that. So I stamped that in this dusty Durango, which matched. And that's going to go inside my card. And it fits in there perfectly. And then that way I can say to whoever. Now, I was going to make a card, a special card for my um, my nephew. And poor guy, his my birthday is right before his. His birthday is July 5th, right after the holiday. So I have a hard time remembering to send him his birthday card before his birthday because I have to send it today or, you know, I have to send it before the 4th. Otherwise, it gets kind of stuck in the mail. So I will look into maybe sending him this card because this one's really cute. He's going to be 12. I don't know if this is too dorky for a 12-year-old. But I think it's cute. So here's my card. It's all done. I might go back and do a little bit of doodling later. I'll look and see how I feel about it. But right now, here he is. I think he's super cute. Um... So there's the card. Then I went ahead and I made an envelope. And this is the envelope. Okay, here's the envelope. It's cut at four and a half. Um, the card is supposed to fit in here. I guess he does. So I cut this in bashful blue. And I just have some score tape that I've placed around the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So, because the problem is, is that it cut at this angle. So if you try and put um, your ATG right here, it's going to be, it's going to go over and it's just going to be kind of a mess. So I kind of had to do it here and on an angle and works perfectly. And there's that. And it looked very plain to me. So I just cut a piece of de designer paper from my Lime Twist, My Mind's Eye. And I'm going to put that on the front. And put that on the front. And then I just cut... Um, I kind of eyeballed. This is actually, let's see, two and a half by four piece of white cardstock. And then I just uh, corner rounded the edges. And it's going to go in the middle here. And it's going to be my little piece for the address. So I'm going to put that in the middle there. And there is my envelope for my card because it does come with matching envelopes and my card will fit right exactly in there. So it cut perfectly. Um, thank you very much for watching today and I will have all the dimensions on my blog. Otherwise, of course, you could rewatch the video. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me and visit my blog at www.cindyvernon.blogspot.com. Thank you.